Uh, the Commission on the Presidential Debates announced on October 8th that the second debate between Biden and Trump uh, will be held virtually with the president saying he would not partake in a virtual debate. The commissioner, I mean, the commission said the debate would be scheduled for October 15th, would take a town form, uh, town hall meeting uh, for the candidates, which would be part remote from separate locations to protect the health and safety of all involved. The debate moderator, Steve Scully of C-SPAN networks, as well, uh, well-known uh, meeting participants will be on location from uh, uh, Miami, Florida. So, um, you know he's not doing it, and uh, it's just to me it's just more grandstanding. But I, I, I just it's more BS. I, I'm sorry. That's it. Sorry, it's short. Um. So the thing about the debate, the commission on debates, is that they just unilaterally made this decision this morning. This is crazy. It makes me <laughs> sick. This is. I'm. I'm sorry. It's like I. They just keep changing all the rules on the fly, and it's just we're watching another coup. It's so hard to yeah. to report on this BS. Well, I hear you, but we got to do it. So, um, so, so they, they just make the decision. Trump goes on Maria Bartiromo this morning. She says, well, when did you, well, he says, I just found out now. They basically called and then they announced it. There was no discussion. There was no ability for the campaigns to talk to each other. And now it's all day in the news. They've gone, well, well they'll, maybe they'll push it up a week and go the 22nd and 29th. First day you hear Biden accepted it. Now Biden says, no, you don't accept it. So here's Biden, uh, 45G. Here's Biden today getting off the plane or getting on the plane in Delaware. Here he was asked about it. Roll it. I uh, thought Kamala did a great job last night. Oh, yeah. She was really presidential. She <laughs> kept it on focus. Sure. I was really proud of her. I'm looking forward to seeing her. I don't, we don't know what the president's going to do. He changes his mind every second. So for me to comment on that now would be irresponsible. I think that if I'm going to follow the commission recommendation, if he goes off and he's going to have a rally, I'll, 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 I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> exactly. Exactly is right. It depends on what the, what the, we don't know enough to know right now. My inclination. I'll talk to you later about it. I don't know. I just hearing the same thing you're hearing as we're going. You never know what's going to come out of his mouth. Who knows? Thank you. Thanks, John. Thank you. So that's Joe, of course, sounding totally lost. Yeah. He has no, can't even get his thoughts together before he talks, and then says if he has a rally, well, I don't know. I guess I'll Netflix and chill. I mean, what? I don't know what. <laughs> what is he saying? The, how about he saying that he always changes his mind? You look back to the uh, interviews of Trump back in his 30s and 40s. He's saying the same thing then as he did now. Yeah. Changing his mind. He's had the same exact platform since day one. Well, what he's saying is he's changing his mind throughout the day on whether he'll do the debate, not do the debate. He keeps changing his mind throughout the day. Is what he's saying. So, well, he I said think he's, he's not going to do about the Trump debate in general. And he can, he's, he's basically the draw. What are they going to do? Have a debate with Joe Biden? He's well, going to do a, a, a town hall with who? Uh, nobody's well, he's gonna, doing it with George. going to watch. He's That's doing it with thing. George Stephanopoulos is what he's doing. It's network driven. They, they need the numbers. Nobody's going to watch that. 